I became a Christian through a ministry called Young Life. And when I came to faith in Christ, there was a great group of young and older godly men that I got the chance to spend a significant amount of time with over several years. I got to watch them to see how they minister and care for people. I got to watch some of them, how they um, love their wife, love their children. And the time that I spent with these godly men has still influenced me and affected me to today. Uh, a large part of who I am today and the godly man I am today is the result of spending significant amount of time with these other godly men. I remember when I was younger, I spent time with a group of guys from my neighborhood that was not a good influence in my life. And we kind of terrorized the neighborhood. And we would, we would do things that weren't good. I remember one time I was part of setting the woods on fire, or at least trying to. And uh, I wasn't the one necessarily setting the woods on fire, but I was there with them. And as a result, I suffered much harm as a result of being there with the group. I remember I got grounded for a significant period of time. Well, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 18, or verse 20. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20 says this. He who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. And that is so true. And I see that so true in my life. And this is a great verse, maybe around the dinner table this week, is to throw this verse out, read it to your family and talk about what this verse means. And then ask your children, who are their friends? Who are their closest friends? And there are their closest friends wise? In other words, do they follow the Lord? Do they love the Lord? Or are their closest friends ones that aren't seeking a relationship with the Lord, that aren't trying to grow in their walk with Christ? Because as we know, that one of the, the people that are going to have the largest, some of the largest influence in their life are their friends. And so if we don't help our children to make wise, good decisions by choosing their closest friend, closest friends to be those that love with Christ, then they're going to be influenced away from, from the Lord. It's going to have an impact in their life. And in closing, something to ask ourselves, man, is this. Who's our closest friend? And do we have a good brother or two in Christ that are walking with the Lord, that love Christ, are good models of what it looks like to be a godly husband, godly father, godly leader, um, to be about the kingdom? Are we walking with these men? If we aren't, we, we need to start walking with these men. We need to start spending more time with them so we can be influenced by them, so we become more wise. And if we have a friend or two that we have made a close companion uh, that is not following the Lord, is not walking with Christ, and is making some real poor, sinful decisions that are having an effect in their life, then, then we, need to, we need to not make them such a close companion because we will be affected by that, as the scriptures say. We will be affected. We will be drawn away from the Lord. And let me read this verse one last time. Proverbs 13, chapter 13, verse 20. He who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. Men, may we and our children and our family be wise people. And wisdom comes from following the Lord. And wisdom comes from having close friends, close companions that love Christ.